is Randy Kaufman, Vice Chair of the Spanish Fork Salem Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today at the ribbon cutting for KMA Architects, and I am with Wes Christensen. What is your official title? I'm the President, uh, Principal Architect of KMA Architects. Awesome, and I have as my wing board member, Lance Wilson with State Farm. So tell us about KMA Architect and what you guys do. So KMA, I don't know if you want me to hold that. But Go ahead. KMA <laughs> Architects, we're, uh, we've, we've been in business for almost 30 years. We specialize in uh, K through 12 schools. Um, right now we're doing the new high school for Spanish Fork High School and we'll follow that up with Payson and Springville. So that's pretty exciting for us to be kind of a local, local firm here doing those, those uh, projects. We, we've been doing, uh, Kevin Matson was the, the old owner and I mentored under him for years and, and then he retired and I took over and then we worked, worked in Provo, our office was in Provo for um, you know, almost 20, 20, 25 years. And then my dad, it was Chris, Chris's hair center, the barber that was used to be here. He uh, retired last year and I had the opportunity to purchase the building and so we tore the building down and built this this uh, new office here for us. We kind of uh, went with a, a modern kind of a showpiece uh, of what w to kind of reflect our design uh, attitudes and and I think it turned out to be successful. So I don't know if you want to talk a little about about history, but yes, we want to hear about history. Great. So so. As everyone knows, kind of the staple barber that used to be in, in Spanish Fork was my dad, Larry, or Chris. Yeah. Cut here for years. I remember riding my bike here as a kid. Um, and then after high school, I'd stop here and listen to all, all the old guys BS in the barber chairs, which was good. And uh, learned a lot that way. But then as we were doing this, uh, my dad has been here cutting hair for 51 years. Uh, and. I, I knew this before, but we found out like my grandpa, my grandpa Christensen was a cook at the 91 Cafe that was where the bank sits right now. So it's kind of a nice lineage of having my grandpa there for years, my dad here for years, and now now we're here. So it's been, been neat. And we kind of did a, a little homage to him um, on, the, on the front. We have a barber pole. It's a light that lights up at night and it kind of sparkles as you drive by, but it has the years 1945 from when this used to be a barber shop to 2020, so I'm going to stop. Okay, so you were telling us before we went on air that um, your grandpa, who was the cook, he, the, the kitchen area of the restaurant or was yeah. just literally right across the wall yeah. from where your dad's mirrors were right. and the, uh, the, 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 this, the hair station to cut hair in. Yep, yep, and that's where our kind of our front couch is today. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, and now here you are. So three generations. So literally we've got a Christensen here on this, you know, corner of Main, yep. 200 North Main Street now for how many years, 75? Yeah, 60 plus years probably. Yeah. So. So w everybody in town has watched as your building has gone up. Well, obviously, we watched the demolition of the old building um, and now the new building coming up. Why don't you tell us some of the unique features about your building? And you said it kind of, you, you tried to pattern it after, after some of the work you do on schools. So some of the unique features that you might see in your building that also you might see in a school. Right. So, yeah, this building, we I mean, kind of the sky was the limit with design because when you're designing your own office, what what do you do? That's the biggest question. I mean, we have a really unique site. It's a really long, narrow site, so we wanted to maximize the uh, kind of the feel on the inside. Because from the street, it looks really small, but as you come in, obviously there's it's it, it's opened up. So, and yeah, we tried to to pattern everything that we do, like from the flooring to the types of millwork that we use to the fixtures are things that we use in our schools and so it's nice so we can bring clients here and say you know this is this is the carpet that we could use here or this is the type of fixtures or light fixtures things like that so so that was kind of what we wanted to pattern this after obviously the modern style a skylight and, yep skylight that uh, is over our stairwell to bring that bring natural light clear down to the bait to the bottom floor so 
And so and you also have like a third floor, right? We do. Yep. So that's our break room up on the top floor. So Time out. I probably should have had my office up there, but you know, that's our break room. So the guys on the bottom floor, we always take orders if someone's going up to get us a drink or something. So in addition to you said you specialize in schools K through 12. Mm -hmm. Is there any other type of work that KMA Architects does that maybe might be of interest to the community? Yeah, so we've, I mean, we do mainly commercial. We don't do uh, residential very often, but mainly commercial. So we've done anything from banks or credit unions to, um, you know, gas stations. Uh, we did the, the Natural History Museum in Thanksgiving Point years ago. And so we've done pretty much everything commercial we usually do, but we specialize in schools. So, so Wes, I got to know, okay? You're, you're designing the Spanish Fork High School, but you're also doing Salem and Springville, okay, or not Salem and Springville, Payson and Springville. So I want to know what special things are you doing in Spanish Fork that you're not going to do for Payson and Springville because of the whole rivalry thing? That's right. So I'm a Spanish Fork guy. So obviously Spanish Fork is going to be the best school. Absolutely. And you can see by the motif of our office, the red and gray is really prominent in here. <laughs> so, and obviously, the big question that I always get is, are we keeping the spirit rock? And we are definitely keeping the spirit rock. It's awesome. gonna be right up front, so. No kidding. That was good. I might have to bring a crane in to move that. The one thing we're doing for the football stadium and also the, the gyms that will be for basketball is adding a special uh, network line and everything for Spanish Fork 17 so that they can broadcast all the games, so. Go SFCN. Yeah. So do you, you said you do mostly commercial work, but do you have a website that if anybody's just kind of interested to see what you have done that they can look at a gallery or if there is somebody out there who wants a commercial project done to get a hold of you? Yeah, so our website's just kmaarchitects.com and it has all of our portfolio, our current projects that we're working on, our staff, every, anything you want to see in our phone number and how to contact us. So. Awesome. All right, we're excited at this opportunity to welcome you to the chamber, and we want to thank Channel 17 for filming today and Costco for the cake.